Norway is building the world's first ever cruise ship tunnel, and it's mind-blowing. As an engineering enthusiast myself, I've seen many ambitious projects, but when I heard about Norway's plans to create the world's first full-scale ship tunnel, my heartbeat went up. This is innovation and thinking on a whole new level. The Stad ship tunnel will be massive. Spanning 1.7 kilometers, one mile in length, 37 meters, 121 feet in height, and 26.5 meters, 87 feet in width. It's designed to accommodate vessels up to 16,000 tons, providing them with a safer and quicker passage to the other side. But why are they building this ship tunnel through a mountain? Isn't it too expensive? Can't they just sail around the peninsula? And how do you build a tunnel for ships? This fits the Norwegian pioneering spirit perfectly. In this video, we'll dive deep into why this project tackles the notoriously dangerous maritime conditions around Stadlandet, where the confluence of the Norwegian Sea and the North Sea has claimed numerous lives and posed significant challenges for ships throughout history. Norway has been at the cutting edge of navigation and seafaring since the time of the Vikings. Once again, Norwegian ship owners and researchers are challenging the fundamentals of maritime technology, paving the way for creations unseen by the world until now. This time, it's a tunnel, the Stad Ship Tunnel. And it's not just any tunnel, it's being built exclusively for large ships. After years of planning, the Norwegian Coastal Administration has received the green light to start working on the Stad Ship Tunnel. Work is expected to begin in 2024, with completion scheduled for 2025 or 2026. Tour Andre, the current project manager for the tunnel, said, Based on the green light we recently received, we will now start acquiring properties in the area where the ship tunnel will be located. The project is estimated to take around three to four years to construct with an investment of 325 million US dollars from the Norwegian Coastal Administration. The tunnel will allow ships to circumvent a difficult area for navigation along the Norwegian coastline, the Stad Peninsula. For this particular reason, Norwegian shipping interests have been calling for a ship tunnel in this location for several years. First announced a few years ago by the Norwegian Coastal Administration, this mile-long and 118-foot-wide tunnel will burrow through the mountains of the Stad Peninsula in northwestern Norway. At the moment, ships navigating the surrounding area of Stad are often impacted by rough tides and bad weather. Sometimes, ships have to wait for days in the nearest harbor for weather conditions to improve. But with the tunnel, the weather and the tides shouldn't impact a vessel's trip. For the design, the renowned Norwegian architecture firm Snohetta was asked to come up with ideas. Snohetta, probably one of the best design agencies in the world, has designed many iconic structures, like this, this, and this. They designed the tunnel entrances, walkways, and the construction of a new road bridge to give visitors a view of ships entering and exiting the tunnel. According to Snohetta, the design focuses on merging the surrounding natural and cultural landscape with the tunnel's large scale. The terraces are built on stone, carved out of the mountain where the tunnel is created using wire cutting and blasting. The terraces will have a naturally rough form within the precise geometry of horizontal lines, creating a link to the area's cultural landscape. The geometry is also highly beneficial for the structural stability of the portal, said Snohetta. A sloped terrace at each end will allow the tunnel entrances to blend in with the natural landscape while providing a geometrically and structurally stable shape for the tunnel underground drilling rigs. The Norwegian Coastal Administration, tasked with overseeing the project, has employed a combination of horizontal drilling, carefully placed explosives and reinforced concrete to carve out this monumental passageway. The sheer scale of the excavation is staggering. 
To create a tunnel capable of accommodating vessels up to 16,000 tons, engineers must remove a colossal 3 million cubic meters of rock, equivalent to 1,200 Olympic-sized swimming pools. The process involves a technique known as the drill and blast method, where a series of carefully controlled explosions strategically break apart the rock face. Once the initial excavation is complete, the tunnel will be reinforced with concrete to ensure structural integrity and longevity. The final dimensions of the tunnel are a testament to its grandeur, 1,700 meters long, 37 meters high, and 26 meters wide. To put the tunnel's size into perspective, it will be able to accommodate ships larger than the Statue of Liberty. The tunnel's height is nearly equivalent to a 12-story building, while its width could comfortably fit two Boeing 747 aircraft side by side. These dimensions are necessary to allow for the safe passage of both large cruise ships and commercial vessels, which are vital to Norway's economy. Additionally, the tunnel entrances will be fitted with concrete blocks and rubber rudders designed to withstand the impact of a 16,000-ton boat moving at five knots, or about nine miles per hour. They specifically chose this narrow section of the mountains to make the tunnel as short as possible. The construction plan involves a team of contractors drilling horizontally from both ends until they meet in the middle. Then, they will use explosives to clear the roof section and achieve the necessary height. Shotcrete, a type of concrete that is sprayed from a hose, will be used to secure the roof. The project will mirror open mining techniques to achieve the width and shape needed for the tunnel to be sound. Stone blockades will be used to prevent water from entering the tunnel during construction. The Norwegian Coastal Administration notes that while other tunnels can accommodate small boats and barges, no other underpass has been built to serve large ships. The Norwegian Coastal Administration says the finished structure will be akin to a large and long mountain hall. While the tunnel is likely to attract the attention of infrastructure enthusiasts from across the world, the chief goal of the tunnel is simply to make transiting the Stad Sea safe and predictable. At present, it won't be possible to walk through the tunnel on foot, so if you're intrigued, going by boat will be the only option. Why does Norway need this tunnel? The stretch of water surrounding the peninsula is notorious as one of the most dangerous parts of the entire Norwegian coastline. The ocean around the Stad Peninsula is subject to challenging ocean currents combined with the underwater topography, creating complex and unpredictable wave conditions when the winds are strong. This creates demanding conditions for even the most experienced maritime professionals. High waves can come from different directions and can last for several days after a storm, leading to potential problems even on the calm days after the storms. In early 2019, the Viking Sky lost power and narrowly avoided disaster in the area. Also, sometime in 2018, passengers aboard a cruise ship were sent back to their cabins due to the severe rocking motion of the ship while passing through the area. What are the benefits? According to the project team, the tunnel will make sea transport safer, more efficient, and more environmentally friendly. The ship tunnel is necessary to achieve the political goal of moving transport from road to sea and will facilitate safe and environmentally friendly sea transport in the coastal and maritime industries. In the future, industries set to benefit include fishing vessels, service vessels, container ships, and cruise ships. For commercial shipping, the tunnel will mean safer and quicker deliveries and better quality retention of raw materials. In bad weather, fishing vessels are unwilling to sail around Stad, leading to increased wait times and reduced quality. The world's largest fish farming company, Moe, is among the strongest supporters of the ship tunnel. According to simulations, fuel consumption should be reduced by between 60% for ships around 40 meters and 30% for ships around 140 meters when using the tunnel route. It's also fair to say that the tunnel will become a tourist attraction for the region. Project leaders hope it will become a landmark for Norway's Western Cape 
in a similar way to the visitor center at the North Cape. The tunnel will be big enough for the Hutter Gruten and coastal ships to sail through, having a huge impact and benefits for tourists. However, the Norwegian Coastal Administration said the primary goal is to improve safety. We are working to ensure that the Norwegian coast is the safest and cleanest in the world. Projects such as the Stad Ship Tunnel are important measures to realize our goals. Infrastructure. Norway is already home to over 1,100 tunnels used for roads and railways. Norway is a country made up of many small regions separated by mountains and valleys. Tunnels simplify connections between these areas and allow easy travel by road and rail. While building a sea tunnel of this size is a brand new type of tunnel, there is no better country to take on this groundbreaking project than Norway. The tunnel will prioritize commercial traffic and should be able to transport up to 100 ships per day. It will operate as a one-way tunnel with directions alternating every hour. Tunnel traffic will be controlled by a light system to monitor and control ship flow. Time slots will be handed out by a vessel control center which mimics the role of air traffic control at an airport. There are currently no plans to make the tunnel passable on foot, so the only way to experience the tunnel will be by boat. The Stad Ship Tunnel is one of many underground infrastructure projects to be planned and started over the next few years. This rise in tunneling projects is associated with technological advancements in the construction and tunneling industries. New boring machines, stability support systems, and monitoring all make tunneling safer and more efficient. These advancements impact everything from roads and railways to ships, foundation building, and utility management. Whatever the future holds for underground boring and construction, the Stadship Tunnel is sure to amaze contractors and engineers around the world for a long time to come. Do you believe other countries will follow suit? If you like mega constructions, click here to watch China's seven mega projects of 2024 that have left American engineers shocked. It's fantastic to see how big and fast the Chinese can build.